Hello, boys and girls. I have a story to share with you today about a boy who can't find his dinosaur. Have you seen my dinosaur? I know I have a lot of dinosaur fans that are listening to these stories. Have you seen my dinosaur? He's large. He's green. He likes to roar. He sometimes likes a little drink. Have you seen him in the sink? Or he could be outside the door. Please, please, have you seen my dinosaur? I haven't seen your dinosaur. There's no such creature anymore. I have not seen him in the sink. He would not fit in there, I think. I know he's not outside the door. I have not seen your dinosaur. Do you see the dinosaur? I do. I've got to find my dinosaur. He's never been lost before. He's hard to miss. He's very large. He's larger than a river barge. He likes to take a nap at four. Please help me find my dinosaur. I cannot find your dinosaur. There's no such thing anymore. A dinosaur cannot be found from deepest deep to highest ground, from shore to ship or ship to shore. You will not find your dinosaur. Look carefully. I think you'll spot him. I lost my dinosaur today. Do you suppose he ran away? Could be, could he be hanging from a kite or hiding somewhere in plain sight? He likes to watch me comb my hair. This morning, though, he wasn't there. I thought he was in the shower. Oh, he can shower for an hour. He might be in some big desk drawer. Please, please, have you seen my dinosaur? Look carefully. I think you'll spot him as we go through the story. But the little boy hasn't found him yet. You say you've lost your dinosaur, a strange thing to be looking for, a thing as tall and wide as that. You won't find him underneath a hat. If I were you, I'd get a cat or a dog or a bird or a small white rat. And look at the fat. What's animal number five? I wonder why they can't see him. Have you seen my dinosaur? It's tea time. It's his turn to pour. Now let me see what have we got. A lynx, a minx, an ocelot. Look, he went to the zoo. If you look carefully, you may see his dinosaur. I do. Plus two gnu, a king kaju, camels with a hump or two, a big black bear from Baden-Baden. <laughs> Look at those animals. We don't commonly see those around here. A Scottish beastie from Kundu, a shaggy yak from Far Bataan, an upside down orangutan, a fat wild boar from East Timor. But no, we have no dinosaur. There aren't any anymore. We do not have your dinosaur. Look carefully. Is he in disguise? I need to see Professor Pew. I'm Pew, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a dinosaur. What kind is it that you're looking for? His tail is longer than a mile. His neck is longer still. His smile gets wider every time I see him. You need to try a big museum. Look at all those dinosaurs in this professor's office. Is this the place where people say a dinosaur is on display? Sure is. Now let me think. It's tough because we've got a lot of stuff. This is a big museum. You're entering with old stuff and even older stuff. Do you see his dinosaur?
Look, statues made by ancient Greeks. To name them all, to name them all would take me weeks. But not a single statue here is of a dinosaur, I fear. Sometimes we don't things that are don't see things, boys and girls, that are in plain sight. He's missing his dinosaur. These paintings are all very rare. No photos, please. Stay back. Take care. Look who's in a photo or in a painting, an ancient painting. No dinosaur in here, I'm told, although our paintings are quite old. Of course, they're dusted now and then by trusted, well-trained handymen. Look who's dusting the paintings in the museum. And he still doesn't see his dinosaur. Here, here is what you're looking for. Here's where we keep our dinosaur. It lived a long, long time ago, 200 million years or so. Look who's looking, who's going through the museum. The dinosaur. 200 million years ago? No, 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 that can't be so. This isn't what I came to see. My dinosaur is five like me. A year ago, we both turned four. Wherever is my dinosaur? And look, here's a picture of his, him and his dinosaur at his fourth birthday. I've got to find my dinosaur before he misses one more meal. But where a dinosaur might go is something no one seems to know. My mother did not have a clue. The fisherman did not come through. It stumped the whole police force too. I got no further at the zoo. Or when I saw Professor Pugh, the big museum had nothing new. So what, oh, what am I to do? Thinking back of all the different places he went to, boys and girls in search of his dinosaur. He is very determined, I like that. I think who I should ask is you. Have you seen my dinosaur? Have you? Where is he? Say that once more. I can hear all of you saying, he's right underneath you. Look at that silly boy. His dinosaur has lifted him up high in his boat. A dinosaur is a kid's best friend, but hide and seek is hard. The end. I bet you have some dinosaurs that you can go and play with now, boys and girls, and maybe create your own game of hide and seek. I look forward to reading to you again next time. Have a good day.